there's two things to keep in mind. The first is that both um, globally and even within countries, poorer households tend to have much smaller carbon footprints. They're not contributing to the problem as much as wealthier individuals within a country or wealthier countries around the world. So there has to be you know, some acknowledgement that we deal with this in a differentiated way, that the people or the countries that are most responsible for the cumulative emissions in the atmosphere need to be the ones to contribute more to the solution. So at the outset, we just have to recognize the, the differentiated responsibility for the problem. And then I think the second part of this is that we need to have solutions for, for mitigation that also build resilience, right? So we need to not just clamp down on emissions, which has the risk of being you know, quite harmful to poor families who maybe can't afford costlier alternative technologies or increased gas taxes or whatnot. Um, but to, to couple mitigation policies with real new innovative sort of resilience initiatives societally to help, uh, to help boost the welfare of everybody. And that, that's, you can think of that more broadly around poverty, but also specifically around food security, right? Uh, to think about what a modern safety net really looks like, both domestically and globally, I think we're really due for a rethink.